Welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, the Doctor of Common Sense. Al Sharpton had James Carville on his show. That's Mr. Um, is the economy stupid? And for some reason, uh, James Carville, who looks like he's been embalmed already, I don't know who looks worse out of him and Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton. And the question that Al Sharpton asked to James Carville, he's a Democratic strategist, he says that there's a 40-year inflation high, and people are suffering. What do you expect from midterms if this keeps up? James Carville, with a straight face, says, you know, you got to ask yourself this question. If you're a black or brown person or some other person, in other words, if you're human. <laughs> he, I don't know, he's so stupid, he didn't get that. But he says that uh, if you were a person who was struggling, who would you want to help you, Joe Biden and the Democrats or Republicans? Co-host of 2020 Politics War Room. Thanks for joining us, uh, Mr. Carville. I, I have a lot of topics I want to cover, but let's start with the big one. Inflation is at a 40-year high, and a new report says black and brown voters who make up the backbone of the Democratic Party are being squeezed the most. They could soon see hard-fought gains in the job market erased by a possible recession. You are the man who coined the phrase it's the economy, stupid, during Bill Clinton's uh, successful 1992 campaign. Are you hearing a strong message from Democrats on the economy in these midterm elections? Does James Cumber look like he's already, does he look like he's already dead? Look at that face. Oh God, man, he looks like, I don't know, I call him half dead or something. That's, that's kind of scary, man. I don't know who looks more like half dead, him or Al Sharpton. <laughs> this is a strange combination. Well, what is that? Thank you very much, John, for our Congressman Clyburn. Uh, yes, and ask yourself this question. If, if you're a, a black or brown person, or you're any kind of person, lower income, middle income person, who do you think's going to help you more to get through this? Uh, President Biden, the Democrats? Or he wants to know if you think that Joe Biden's going to help you more or somebody else. You can't, you can't even make this up. Republicans. I mean, you got to really ask yourself that. And to me, there's one thing we can do. The, the Tories did it in, in the UK. Is that a trick question? I mean, are, are you serious? Is that really a trick question? Who got us into this mess? The hell is you talking about? Nobody can do a worse job than Joe Biden and the Democrats. Nobody. You don't even have to be trying. You can do a better job. If you did nothing, it would be better than what the Democrats is doing. But he seems to think that if you had a choice, you would choose. Did you see the polls? I don't know if you're looking at the polls. Stupid. Not only is the economy, it's always the economy. Let's just stop the plan. It ain't abortion. And if we have a fair election, personally, I don't think Democrats could ever win if he had a fair election. If you have all-time high gas prices and all-time high all-company profits, my idea is let's tax these profits and give, the, give, give people some relief. Hey, stupid. Who caused the, the high uh, prices? He wanted to go into a war. He had no business going into Nobody's addressing that. But he's too stupid. His brain is gone just as much as Joe Biden. Hey, you can do that. There's that, that's things that you can do. We have some tools in our toolbox, and let's use them and go to work. Now, let's talk about abortion. New polling shows the number of Americans who list abortion rights as a top priority. I want to get to the meat of what I really want to talk about, because... He was asked a question. James Carville was asked a question, and they also had James Clyburn on there. They didn't. I didn't have that clip of James Clyburn, you know, the, the former slave. I mean, I'm sorry, current slave, uh, because he said his wife just loves Joe Biden, proving his wife is just as stupid as he is. But anyway, James uh, Clyburn and James Carville says the only way that the Democrats can win the election is they need voter intervention. Later in the show, I'm going to have a special message to those who are feeling concerned about our country uh, this 4th of July. But I want to get your take. 
In 2020, I remember you were a voice of calm, telling Democrats that if they stick to the plan, Trump would be defeated and Joe Biden would be president. What is your take now as we head into these very important midterms? I, I am not a voice of calm. I'm petrified. Uh, and I will echo what my friend Congressman talked about. If this country does not have voter intervention, I, I am not optimistic about its future. What does voter intervention intervention means? <laughs> That's what y'all had in 2020. Voter intervention? What the hell does he mean? If, if, if people, and particularly young people, if, if, if they care any about this country, and as you know, you were a, a young person one time on, on the forefront of the civil rights movement. Uh, he wanted to find nothing. I mean, this this freaking bootlicker, uh, Al Sharpton, he ain't even no damn reverend. We ain't using the front of something. He wasn't doing a damn thing. Freaking poverty pimp. I believe yeah, If they don't get a hold of this and do something, I, I am mortified. And I wholly endorse the five strategy of voter intervention. But I, I am not a, a voice of, of, of confidence at all. I, I am very afraid right now. They didn't describe what voter intervention technically means, but... I believe we had voting interventions back in 2020, right? Is that what you're talking about? Just, I mean, curious minds want to know. They want voter intervention. What, what does that mean? Because you define voter intervention. In other words, our people are too stupid. We can't expect them to do what we want them to do. Even their people are waking up to their stupidity. You know they got to be doing really bad when these stupid people who supported Barack Obama Hillary Clinton uh, and Joe Biden are even saying that we don't want to vote for those damn idiots. That's how bad they're doing. And you can take the uh, abortion decision, but you can't, don't forget the gun decision and this horrible environmental uh, uh, thing that came out. And as you know, marginalized communities are affected by gun violence far more than, than, than other communities. And marginalized communities are... Won't you arrest the criminals, stupid? I mean, you can't be this stupid. Far more affected by pollution than, than other communities too, both from the standpoint of clean air. And the Wait a minute. If it's pollution, damn fool, it don't make no difference what neighborhood you stay in. If it's pollution, the pollution is going to get to you if you're in the same damn city. <laughs> and climate change. And basically, the Supreme Court has cut that. If you think about it, Reverend Al, common sense tells you we shouldn't be restricting people's freedom. Common sense tells you we don't need more guns in this country. We have Wait a minute. You shouldn't restrict people's freedom, but you want to take their guns. They can kill babies, but you want to take their guns. We shouldn't restrict... You don't even realize what you're saying because you're too stupid to even know you're stupid. There are a million guns, something like that, in the country right now. And common sense say you, we need less pollution, not more. And it's just going against common sense. And the people that you mostly care about, I, I like to think that... He keeps saying common sense. I'm offended you keep using the word common sense, damn fool. Common sense. I do too. Are the people that are going to be most adversely affected by this. I don't know if y'all guys remember. Al Sharpton, and I, I didn't like the way that James Carville kept saying common sense like he's got common sense. But there was another clip of uh, Al Sharpton, and he was still in my line. I couldn't believe this. I mean, I couldn't believe Al Sharpton was still in the, some of my lines. I believe it was the George Floyd funeral. I'm not even for sure. I really don't care. But he was talking about that his job is to go around the country and and expose cockroaches. Because he said, this is the same one. I've been using this, this particular analogy for years. He said, if you flip on the light switch, the cockroaches take off running because they're, they're afraid of the light. I didn't grow up in the third world, but I grew up in the third world. I grew up in Brownsville. And we had roaches. Now, I know Kevin Hart and some of the rich Hollywood folk here don't know what roaches are, but we had roaches, ludicrous. And one thing I found out about roaches is that if you keep the light off, if you in the dark, A roach will pull up to your dinner table and have a five-course meal. So I learned that one of the ways to deal with roaches is if you cut the light on. I could run them roaches and track them down. 
And I've spent all my life chasing roaches all over this country. Hmm. Well, this cockroach should have been taken off running because Al Sharpton is the epitome of a cockroach. James Carville is a cockroach. Uh, Joe Biden is a cockroach. Mitch, Mitch McConnell is a cockroach. Um, we got cockroaches running. Uh, Hillary Clinton's a cockroach. He says when you turn on the lights, and the, he was at a church too, and they were getting, they was like, amen, Al Sharpton, amen. When you turn on the lights, the cockroach don't like light. Mm. Whew, that's profound because uh, that's exactly what I've been saying. If the cockroaches that you're seeing, you're calling, I guess, the Republicans and the right the cockroaches, why don't y'all let us see the evidence then? Since, since the cockroaches don't like to see light, show us the cockroaches, the light that you're talking about, Al Sharpton. Show us all of the things we need to see. We want to see all of the data for 2020 election. We need to see all of the data for the CDC been saying about the COVID and all that. We want to see all that data. We're nothing but cockroaches, but we need the cockroaches want to look at the data so we can determine about the information because we want the lights turned on too. These are cockroaches who like light. We want the lights turned on. We want to be exposed to light. And we like we like some daywalker cockroaches. <laughs> like the vampires who can come out in the daytime. We like the cockroaches who can come out in the daytime. Yeah, we like to see light. We want to see light. Al Sharpton is dropping salt. And they pray. Ooh, they say, hallelujah, Al Sharpton is the man. Really? Can't make this up. I'm just still interested in what we're talking about, this uh, midterm intervention. I don't I don't know that voter intervention. I don't even know what... What does that consist of? I mean, somebody needs to explain that to me. 